Hi, welcome to an NX11 video tutorial. I want to do the plastic basket which I did before in KTV5. And it's very similar, only small differences in the approach. So let's start and have some fun with NX11. First, I need a plane, so go for a plane, datum plane, or should have a distance from this one and that might be 150 and confirm okay now let's do a sketch right on that plane okay that would be a circle and that circle might have a diameter of 100 Finish this sketch and another sketch on that plane. Again a circle and the diameter might be 300. And finish this sketch as well. Now let's do another sketch on that plane right here. Okay. And I need the intersection points of these two circles, so go for, no, not this one, that's the intersection point between a curve and the sketch plane, that would be this curve, and that solution right here, apply and that curve and that solution and okay now i need a spline through points let's start here and move it like this okay now this point right here and that point should be coincident and the same over here, this point, and that point right here should be coincident as well. And that spline should be tangent to that axis. Not the y axis, but to the sketch axis. Okay, and that spline should be tangent. Looks good. And finish the sketch. Now I want to pattern that plane or a plane along that path. So I will make a new plane and that would be one with Point and direction. This point right here, and direction would be this one. Okay. Now let's pattern this plane along that curve. So go to pattern feature, select the plane not circular but along the path would be this one make it rigid sorry just go for select path okay count and span 10 100 percent span yes and not normal to path but same as input and okay and I got my splines. Not my splines, but my planes. This is sort of irritating. Seems the screen doesn't update. It's 
may be the Camtasia software, which doesn't work properly with the NX11. Okay, now let's make with this sketch a revolve. So go for revolve with this sketch. Vector would be this one. 360 degrees, but not a solid. It should be a sheet. And okay. Very nice. Now I need curves, intersection curves between that planes and that surface. So go for curves, intersection curve, uh, select the face and keep it selected. That's the face. Specify the plane. Start with this one. Apply this one. Apply that one. Apply and so on. And the last one is this one, because that plan I don't need, it. it's already here and I don't need a curve right there. So let's see. Maybe hide the planes. And hide the surface for the moment. Okay. Now if you go for cubes you will get a problem. So I will do it with section surfaces. I tried this one but it didn't work out. I got some sort of error and maybe it's because of the parasolid kernel of this program. I'm not quite sure. So let's do section surfaces. Go to surface, more section surface. That's the same as in Cartier, the sweeps. Go for circular, center radius, and you could go for a variable or expression right here, as I did in Cartier, but it doesn't really matter. So, let's make radius lot 2, that's okay. Spine by curve, select spine curve, okay, and just select the curve. Go to select spine curve, that would be the same. And apply. This one, select spine curve, the same. Apply, this one, apply, that one, apply, apply, apply. for this one as well. Start guide and spline and OK. Now there should be another one. So go for the section surface, again circular center radius and choose this one as well. And the spine curve would be this one and confirm now let's pattern this one right here, that section surface. Go to Home, Pattern Feature. That would be a circular one. Specify Vector, that would be this one. And make it, let's say, 48, 360 degrees. 
orientation for the pattern, that's ok, and confirm. And this will take a while, let's check. Yes. Oh, this went quicker than I thought. Okay, now I want to unite this into one body because if you take a look, we got a whole lot of bodies right here. Okay, so maybe first I will thicken that surface. So I want to thicken that revolve, so just show it. And go for a thicken. I want to thicken this surface right here. One to the first direction, minus one to the other direction. And I don't want to intersect, it's none. And OK, but this works fast. But now the intersection will not be so quick. Don't get irritated with this one. So, first I need... Let's hide this thicken. And that revolve as well. Now I have to unite all these into one body. So go for Unite. And select this target, this one right here. Okay. And then select all the others. The selection frame. And now this will take a while. Seems to me Katia was faster in processing those bodies. Maybe I will cut this out of the video. Because it really takes a while. Okay, I'm done and confirm. Still take some time. Okay, this took a while. Now let's intersect this united body with the thickened surface. So go for intersection and the target would be this one and the tool would be the Unite. Again, this takes a while. And hopefully it works. So in this case, Kitty is really, really faster than NX11. OK, confirm. So now I have to show it because it's hidden. Show and hide all the other stuff. So no points, no datum planes, no coordinate system, no curves, no sketches. And close. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, give it a like. Leave a nice, hopefully nice comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cut page. See you to the next one. Bye bye.